क्या हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ मारुति वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस मैथ वीडियो सेशन इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव चूजन ए सम फ्रॉम ट्रिग्नोमेट्री वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट वन लेट्स गो फॉर दैट सो इफ कोसिकेन थीटा प्लस कार थीटा इज इक्वल टू के ही वांट्स अस टू प्रूव दैट द कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल टू के स्क्वायर माइनस 1 बाय के स्क्वायर प्लस 1 दैट्स द गिवन क्वेश्चन फॉर यू सो व्हाट यू आर सपोज्ड टू डू हाउ यू आर सपोज्ड टू थिंक ऑन लेट्स थिंक ऑन दैट वे ओके सो द ओनली थिंग व्हाट आई हैव सीन द आंसर इज हैविंग स्क्वायर Okay, as the answer is having squares and point one and the point two here the question is starting from cosecant and cot, right? So the square is there and cosecant cot are there. Now when we are thinking, we have to think a square dealing with cosecant and cot means something like a square identity three. We have to think on. So logic is what we are supposed to work on. Logic is nothing but square identity. Square identity two I like to use. Think on that. Why? Because squares are there and cosecant and cot are there. What's the square identity three? Is nothing but cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to one. Boom. That's what the logic is. Now, so take that one as given. Yes, given. What is given for us? Right. He has given that cosecant theta. Plus cot theta is equal to k. This is given for us. Okay. Now I like to call this as equation one. Why? Because okay. Let's come back. Let's come back. Now, as I have just now seen, cosecant square theta cot square theta is equal to one. Let's consider that one. Consider. Right. Consider. Let's take that formula for us. That is cosecant square theta. Minus cot square theta is equal to one. From where did you get it? Square identity two, square identity three. We took that one. Consider the square identity three. Now, if you check it out, is it looking like something like? Uh, can I convert it like this? Cosecant theta whole square minus cot theta whole square is equal to one. Can I write it? Why did you write like that? Simple logic. We are converting trigonometry into algebraic stuff. Right, and why did you convert into algebraic stuff? Means what is the thing is here we don't have any square, right? So here the trigonometry is not having square, whereas only the k's are having square. So here trigonometry is having square. We want to remove square from the trigonometry. You have to remember all these things. See here, we don't have square in the trigonometry, whereas we have square in the trigonometry here. How to remove square from the trigonometry means we have only one logic. That is, we know that a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Please remember, if we are having square, if we want to remove the square, convert them in this form. Therefore, here we don't have squares. This is the logic what we have to remember, right? If we are having squares, and if we want without square, we have to go from here to here. Convert a square minus b square as a plus b into a minus b. That's what I'm writing this as a square minus b square, so that I can write in the form of a plus b into a minus b. That is a plus b into a minus b is equal to one. Okay, what is a plus b? Cosecant theta. Plus cot theta is a plus b, right? Cosecant theta minus cot theta is a minus b. That's what a square minus b square. I have converted as a plus b into a minus b. Okay, but but if you have observed here, cosecant theta plus cot theta, how much he has given? He has given from equation one, cosecant theta plus cot theta is equal to one. He has already given to us. See here, cosecant theta plus cot theta. We are giving it as one. Means in the place of cosecant theta plus cot theta, I placed it as k. Now what is left over? Obviously, this is left over. Cosecant theta minus cot theta is left over with us. Okay, cool. Now can I send this k, which is multiplying to the other side? Yeah. So if you take cosecant theta. Minus cot theta is equal to one by the k multiplying. If it goes to other side, it divides divide. It becomes divided by. Now, as I am calling this as equation one, I like to call this as equation two. Cool. 
So this is how we got equation 1 and 2. Now let me recapitulate which is the tricky part. Only here also he may ask you if cosecant theta plus cot theta is equal to k what is cosecant theta minus cot theta this is a 2 marks question straight away we can write cosecant theta minus cot theta is equal to 1 by k right. In the same way question may be twisted here we are dealing with the square identity 3 as we are dealing with cosecant and cot. He may change the question and he may ask you what is secant theta minus tan theta if secant theta plus tan theta is equal to k then secant theta minus tan theta is equal to 1 by k at the same time here we have taken identity 3 there you take identity 2 that is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 means this is a 2 marks question in the same way he may change it and convert in terms of secant and tan also of course the same style okay however we got equation 1 and 2 now start playing with that what we want, we want cosecant theta is equal to k square, we want it as k square minus 1 by k plus 2. Now what I am doing, I am doing we got equation 1 and equation 2, I want to add it. Adding equations, right, 1 and 2, I like to add it. What is the first equation? The first equation what I got is cosecant theta, right, cosecant theta plus cot theta, cosecant theta plus cot theta is equal to k. This is equation 1, what he has given. What is equation 2? The equation 2 goes like this. Cosecant theta minus cot theta is equal to 1 by k. Is it clear? Cosecant theta plus cot theta is equal to k and cosecant theta minus cot theta is equal to 1. Straight away, what I am doing? Adding. If you add them, straight away can I cancel these two? Plus cot theta and minus cot theta? Yes. What is left over? Can I take it as 2 cosecant theta? Right. Is equal to k plus 1 by k. Let's simplify. Cosecant theta plus cosecant theta is equal to 2 cosecant theta. Right. If you have, here it is. We are having k plus 1 by k. If you equation 1 and equation 2 have added, plus cos cot theta minus cot theta cancel cosecant theta plus cosecant theta 2 cosecant theta k plus 1 by k now i can I take lcm for that yes if there is no one at the bottom it's nothing but 1 1 and k goes uh, lcm is k 1 what should be multiplied to 1 to get to 1 more k k 1 into k is equal to k that k you remember it and multiply it to the top so k into k it's nothing but k square and here it is plus now k goes in k same goes in same one one time 1 into the top 1 1 into 1 1 so what we have 2 cosecant theta is equal to k square plus 1 by k now I am sending the into 2 to the other side what we will be having cosecant theta is equal to k square plus 1 by 2k you box that one and call it as some other equation or you can call it as equation 3 so what did we do? We have added equation 1 and 2. We got 2 cosecant theta is equal to k plus 1 by k. We took LCM. It became k square plus 1 by k. And I transpose 2 which is multiplying to the other side. I got it as 2k. Now the same logic is continuing. Here what did I do? Added equation 1 and 2. Now change it. Subtracting subtracting equations 1 and 2 let us solve it by subtraction okay i'm copying down the first equation as it is cosecant theta plus cot theta is equal to 1 by k i took it up in the same way now i'm taking the second equation what's that cosecant theta minus cot theta is equal to i think i messed up here it is only k and here it is 1 by k now what i said let us do subtraction so what we are having if we are having plus take it off and change it as minus if we are having minus you change it as plus why because we are changing the sign we are subtracting and if we are having plus here remove that one and make it as minus right here cot theta and the minus cot theta got cancelled here cosecant theta and minus cosecant theta gets cancelled plus cot theta and plus cot theta it becomes 2 cot theta here k minus 1 by k here it is k and here it is 1 by k now take lcm for that so 2 cot theta is equal to take lcm k if there is no one it's nothing but 1 1 goes in k what should be multiplied to 1 to get k k now multiply that k to the top k into k 
k square here the sign is minus now k goes in k what should be multiplied to k to get to k k into 1 is equal to k means 1 we have multiplied the same one you multiply to the top 1 1s are 1 is it good now here 2 is multiplied transpose to the other side cot theta is equal to k square minus 1 by 2k now you box this one according to me call this one as equation 4 okay cool this is equation 1 all right we have considered a square identity 3 and converted a square minus b square as a plus b into a minus b and cosecant theta plus cot theta is equal to k i transpose that k to the other side i got equation 2 i took first equation and second equation i have added as plus cot theta minus cos theta cancel cosecant plus cosecant 2 cosecant k plus 1 by k i took the lcm of course you know i transpose you got this one similarly i did this okay now the cool part now the cool part of the sum is nothing but we have equation 3 and we have equation 4 right now start thinking on the answer what do you have k square minus 1 where is k square minus 1 it is here so equation 4 on the top why because k square minus 1 and what is in the denominator k square plus 1 k square plus 1 is, is in equation 3 now okay so here we got equation 4 and here we got equation 3 now what is the thing what we are supposed to do dividing dividing equations right 4 and 3 this is the trick what i am playing here right but please remember which has to come in the numerator and which has to come in the denominator see here k square minus 1 k square minus 1 is on the top and k square plus 1 is in the denominator therefore fourth equation should be on the top that is a fourth equation divided by third equation that is the trick what you have to understand so here what is 4 it's nothing but cot theta by uh, first i am placing on the right hand side then i will be going to the left hand side what is uh, the right hand side of the fourth equation cot and what is on the right hand side of the third equation it's nothing but cosecant now i'm thinking about the left hand side what's there towards the left hand side k square minus 1 by 2k in the left hand side of fourth equation now left hand side k square plus 1 by 2k towards so and so okay now if you check it out the denominator here and the denominator here gets cancelled and what is left over k square minus 1 by right here k square plus 1 if you check it out that is what the required is means left hand right the left hand side is all set with the required thing but what is there in the right hand right side it's nothing but cos but we don't have cos here let's convert that cot in terms of cos okay so cos if you remember cot we are having cot can be written as cos theta by sin theta right whereas cosi can be written as 1 by sin theta right if you check it out you can cancel these two what is left over it's nothing but cos theta is equal to k square minus 1 by k square plus 1 which is the required thing to prove okay now there is a chance of changing that question also it may be it may be can i convert the cosecant as 1 by secant theta yes right so it's can be written as k square minus 1 by k square plus 1 yes if he is asking you here it is asked in terms of cause if he is asking in terms of secant just reciprocate it just reciprocate it means what does it become it becomes like this let me write it down for you here so if you reciprocate it secant theta is equal to here we will be getting it as k square minus 1 by k square plus 1 there is a chance of asking the question like this so he may ask you here or he may ask you this one both are important stuff for you now okay now as i said you the question may be changed here we are having in terms of cosecant and cot is equal to k which is nothing but third square identity he may ask you in terms of second square identity tan plus sorry secant plus tan is equal to k and here he may ask you instead of cos he may ask you sine so here we have taken third square identity you do the similar with using second square identity 
uh, see, secant square minus tan square is equal to 1. Secant plus tan, secant minus tan. Do the similarly. Adding of the equation, subtracting of the equation, again dividing of the equation 3 and 4. Of course, where is asking? Is he asking at cause or easier, right? Now, suppose if he is given in terms of that sum, here he will be asking to a sign. Here you will start with a sign or the reciprocal if we here will be asking in terms of cosecant, right? Here the variable also may change. Here the variable is K. He may ask you in terms of R, yes, P, whatever it might be. So this is the trick, right? This is totally nothing but I can say it's nothing but six essay answers. One in this style with the change in question. Here means we are having two. Okay, later on, in terms of second square identity, two more, and he will change the first. I said this is one more shot and one more, totally six essays. Hope you understand. In this channel, I have been placing both math and science videos.